Hello viewers, welcome to Scientech Biology. Myself Satyendra and in today's video we are going to learn the pedigree analysis. This video has two parts. In the first part we will see the basic concept of pedigree analysis. So keep watching, let's see the video. So pedigree is a chart of genetic history of a family over several generations. Whereas the pedigree analysis is a process of determination of exact mode of inheritance of a gene when sufficient family information is available. Pedigree analysis helps the genetic counselor to advise couple worried of the possibilities to having a genetically defective children when it is known that such a defect run in their family. Before we start pedigree, you must learn the symbol of pedigree chart. So let's learn. The white square shaped indicate unaffected male, whereas the black square shaped indicate affected male. Similarly, the white circle indicate unaffected female, whereas the black circle indicate affected female. The diamond shape indicate unknown sex and the cross check circle indicate the dead offspring. A single horizontal line between the male and female represent as a marriage line and the double horizontal line between the male and female represent as a consanguineous mating. It means the marriage between a close relation. In the pedigree, the person from whom the case history start is called proband and if the proband is male, it is called propacity and if the proband is female, it is called propacita. So now let's see how pedigree chart looks like. This is a hemophilia pedigree of a royal family. The Roman number represent the generation and you can see how the defective traits has passed from first to fourth generation. Pedigree may be autosomal or sex linked and these two may be dominant or recessive though they are also y-linked and mitochondrial pedigree type. Now let's see each pedigree with example. This is an autosomal dominant pedigree. Here you can see in each generation there is affected child and this trait comes from the affected parent. That is there is no skip of generation occurs here. In an autosomal recessive pedigree you can see there is a skip of trait in the second generation and the unaffected first, second, third and fourth parent of the second generation have their defective children in the third generation. Now let's see the sex link dominant pedigree. Here in this pedigree female is more affected and the affected son in the third generation has affected mother. Whereas in sex link recessive pedigree male is more affected and the affected male never passes the trait to his son. In case of filing pedigree here only males are affected in a generation. But in mitochondrial pedigree all children are affected and their trait must come from the mother. Let's see some traits to find the type of pedigree. First, see the pedigree chart and ask yourself whether the affected child comes from the unaffected parents. If you find your answer yes, that means the pedigree is recessive type. But if your answer is no, that means the pedigree is dominant type. Now ask the second questions. Are both sex affected? Again, if your answer is yes, that means the pedigree is autosomal and if your answer is no, then be sure that the pedigree is sex linked. In sex linked pedigree, if the affected son comes from the affected male, that means the pedigree is y linked. But if the affected male don't have affected son, that means the pedigree is x linked. I hope this video will help you to understand the basic of pedigree analysis. In the next video, we will see how to solve the problems of pedigree analysis. Keep watching. Till then, goodbye.